Hello and welcome to this section of the Algebra Tutor. In this section we're going to continue learning how to solve equations. Uh, so this, this section is called Solving More Equations. But what we're going to do is start solving equations that take a, more than one step to actually isolate x. But don't forget, what you're trying to do in all of these cases is just get the variable by himself. Everything else doesn't matter. That's the only thing you're trying to do. So, let's go ahead and do that now. What if we have uh, 5x uh, minus 1, make that a minus 1, is equal to 4. Now notice right away, this is a little bit different than what we saw in the last section because we have a minus there, correct, but we also have a multiplication going on. So we have actually two things happening on the left-hand side of the equal sign. You need to start to view, um, to view this as sort of a, a present that you're trying to unwrap. You know, you might unwrap one box, and there's another box inside. You need to take that one out, unwrap that one, and then maybe there's another one inside. But you know that that X is somewhere inside the most inner box. So it's wrapped up here uh, with the multiplication. So you need to ask yourself, what do I do first? Do I add one to get one away, or do I divide by five first? So what you need to realize is that what's happening over here is you need to isolate X you know, get it by itself. So what we're going to do to proceed is first we're going to add the 1 and get rid of this guy. So if we want to get rid of the 1 here, we need to add 1 to both sides. Okay, something like that. So we have minus 1, we're going to add 1 to the left, add 1 to the right. That's totally legal to do because we know we can do whatever we want to the left and to the right hand side. This is going to give you 0. That's why we're doing it. So on the left, all you have is 5x, okay? And on the right, 4 plus 1 is going to give you 5. Now this problem looks just like a million other problems we did in the previous section, right? Because we have basically 5x is equal to 5. This is multiplied. The only way to get rid of it is to divide by 5 on both sides. And that is going to cancel the 5 with the 5, and so what you'll be left with is x on the left-hand side and 1 on the right-hand side, and that is the final answer. So notice this problem took two steps. First, we need to get rid of the 1 because it's sitting out there by itself, so we add that and get, it, get rid of it first. In general, if you have something that looks like this, you want to get rid of addition and subtraction first, and you leave the multiplication or division that's kind of tightly wrapped to the x for later. So we get rid of the 1 by adding to both sides. Now we're left with this and we isolate it with a second step. So we do it in sequence. Basically we're doing it in the reverse order of how we would calculate this to begin with. Notice we have multiplication and then we have addition. Multiplication always comes first before addition or subtraction. So when we isolate x we have to kind of go backwards from that. We need to get rid of the addition and subtraction first and then we get rid of the multiplication or the division. Um, and so if you want to check your work, you take x is equal to 1, stick it back in there. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 minus 1 does give us 4. So that is the correct answer. All right, in the next problem, we have 6x plus 2 is negative 4. 6x plus 2 is negative 4. So we have the same sort of problem. We have multiplication going on here and we have addition. You, in general, you're going to want to get rid of the addition first if it's kind of uh, written like this at the same level. You're kind of going backwards unwrapping that present, so to speak, and the first step is to get rid of this 2 that's sitting off by itself. So we want to subtract 2 from both sides. Now up until this point, I 